Welcome. If you're looking for updates on the Mustang, they're coming soon. We're working on this floor. But I wanted to give a quick update on the rust converter challenge I've got going on. Um, let me just do a quick recap, uh, as you probably saw in the last video, and if not, I'll put a card here. Um, I went ahead and cut samples from my rusty uh, cowl from the Mustang. I treated four of them, so two each with core seal and two with uh, Eastwood rust converter, and then painted one of each of those with Eastwood uh, rust encapsulator. I also had one extra um, sample that I cut and I cleaned it off as well as I could as a control sample just to see with no treatment how well does it rust. And I know what you're thinking because I'm thinking the same thing. Um, hey, these are designed to convert rust, not necessarily to uh, protect it from re-rusting, uh, which is exactly why I have it coated with the Eastwood rust convert, or sorry, rust encapsulator, um, just to see how well it does under something that's a good, a good coating. Sprayed these down last night with a, just some salt water in a bottle and it's cool enough. We're still, we still have the water standing on it. Um, so we're going to see how these, how these hold up the The control piece is, uh, my dog shadow there, control piece is starting to rust up nicely. So we're going to give these a lot more time and just kind of regularly continue to abuse them just to see how, how these coatings hold up. And I'm really interested in how the uh, rust encapsulator here holds up over time. Okay, it has been about three weeks now. Um, and before we dive in, let me show you how the control is holding up. Um, the answer is not very well. It is incredibly scaly. Um, I don't know if you can if you can tell from this, but we are almost borderline. If I saw this on my car, I would probably not even think twice that would be replaced. Uh, I wouldn't try to salvage this. Um, so the good news is that lets me know that whatever I'm doing out there with my salt water sprays and everything else. Um, I've been alternating some salt water, some normal water, just to make it as bad as possible. Um, so that lets me know it's working. Um, it's doing the trick. Uh, so again, the unprotected um, rust converters here. We'll start with the Eastwood. This is what I've used in the past. And I'm going to be frank, the results I saw kind of on initial application were not what I saw in the past. Uh, granted, that was 10 plus years ago, so I don't know if they've changed their formula or maybe this is, maybe it's not the best batch, who knows. But um, even just on initial application, it didn't seem to convert as much of the rust as I would have expected. And here is the sample. Um, I would say compared to the control, it's in better shape. Uh, but it's not great. Um, again, you're going to yell at me, uh, hey, you didn't protect it with anything. Yeah, well, understood. That being said, the core seal here, um, compared to the Eastwood, at least with nothing else coating it, did pretty well. Um, you can see where the rust is starting to form again. Uh, the parts that appear to be maybe a little thicker are still holding up. Um, that's not just sitting on there, that's actually actually protecting the metal. So actually kind of impressive. Um, here are those two side by side. Now let's go to the Eastwood covered with the Eastwood Rust Encapsulator and the Core Seal covered with the Eastwood Rust Encapsulator. So first off, the Eastwood. Um, the finish actually is, is holding up really nicely. Um, I don't have much to say about this. It seems to be doing pretty well. Obviously, it's going to be uh, some time before this degrades. It's not going to degrade nearly as fast. Um, and here is the core seal. The core seal went on thicker, um, and as you can see, probably protects a little better. But I am starting to maybe see some spots where it's starting to rust through and flake off. Now, I did not confirm with Core Seal or Eastwood that, that their 
core seal, rust converter, and Eastwood encapsulator are truly compatible with each other. It's possible that it's not the best mix, um, which is fine. That's, that's not necessarily a ding on either of those products, but just something to know going into experimentation. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's been roughly three weeks. Uh, we, we can see kind of how these are headed. I'm going to put them back out there um, and continue to abuse them in every sense of the word. Uh, salt spray, environmental exposure, UV, etc. Just to see how, how things continue to go. We'll see how the Eastwood Rust Encapsulator holds up on top of these uh, samples and we'll see how long that this core seal holds out. Um, I'm kind of, uh, for something that's not designed to be a top coat, uh, it's actually doing some protection. Um, so good for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set these back up and uh, we'll come back at some point in the future uh, once there's something interesting going on uh, with these samples. All right, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have a lot more on the Mustang if that's uh, if that's what you're here for. And sometime down the road, we'll get a further update on the rust converters and the Eastwood rust encapsulator.